with this def defensive or offensive comp, we could see um, Trev used by both teams here. But we are getting started, so let's see how, let's see if I'm right or completely wrong. See the boon stacking. Let's see. Opening split. Let's see, it looks like blue team isn't going to use one while we do have the Engineer actually from Team Ugly, so they are going to use one of their more offensive characters there uh, to push on the trap, and they're going to be shooting that directly at middle with no time being wasted at all. And we can expect some some trap fire on mid, which actually has only one member, uh, so it isn't necessarily the best target for him to be shooting at, I feel. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it's it allows it allows. I mean, regardless. Oh, no. it looks like blue no. team actually has a, yeah. a trap going as well. Uh, it is being it is being offended. The Pioneer Bow and Vari oh, has okay. not a fire field, so. Oh yeah. But there is a fire field down. So no, Vari's gonna back out and sort of allow him to, sh to free shoot there. So interesting. Uh, let's go over to the windmill here for a second. We do have another one v one erupting here. Oni Bow on D squared is taking on Teppi. Teppi. And it looks like uh, D squared is actually somewhat at a disadvantage here, unfortunately, because of the. Actually, let me see here again. Because of Tepi running that little more offensive uh, Scepter Dagger ability, he does have the ability to do a lot of damage, but he's getting pretty low here, actually. We we'll come back. Actually, right. on the opposite point on Mansion, we did see Oni Bellon try to assault it, but. Um, or, I'm sorry, not the. Do I have. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was, I was mis mistaking the teams. Team Ugly was actually trying to assault it, uh, but they, <laughs> Oni Bellon did reinforce it just in time. Oh, they did actually manage to capture both exterior points now. Taking uh, a. Seems it, it's, it seems that Team Ugly has sort of bailed off middle point now as they have captured. They're going to go all in on Windmill and really just get that with... Oh no, we may see Rise go off here on D-squared. Uh, yes, they wow. do get it off. Despite a pressure from three members of Team Ugly, they managed to get D-squared up. And they're still staying alive in this, in this fight. Excellent job by Oni Balan. I keep in them stacks of confusion. He's actually... He's forced to kill himself back down just trying to stay alive. But they're trying to get the res. They do get another res. Great job. Great res efforts there. We do see a time warp go down. Uh, I don't know which side dropped it. it looks does look like uh, Team Ugly dropped yeah. it. Mm -hmm. and it's unfortunately, now Team Oni Bowen is does have two members down. Looks like neither of them are getting res at this point. Ooh. Oh, Oni Bowen's gonna use his miss form there. Uh, Oni Bowen Lannister and may go for res. No, he gets chained in by that by that blurred frenzy. He's gonna go down him low himself here, and he's gonna be in a tough spot because he's out now. Oh, we did have trap. We do have trap stops coming in though in favor of of the blue team though. Yeah. Uh, we'll make much of a difference now because Lannister's out. He's going to get stopped in just a couple seconds. Yeah, for, oh, and Bowen for, forced to disengage. They can't defend that point anymore. They did have some trap fire, but they just don't have the bodies to keep the point contested. Yeah. And actually, it does look like uh, Oni Bowen actually managed to decap. Or, I'm sorry, they lost both their points. It does look like Team Ugly managed to capture two points, so they're slowly going to be making their way back into this game. We also have uh, Khan Scoot over here. Uh, just. Actually, he's, he's holding off pretty well against three members of Oni Bowen. He's going to go down now, as, oh, no. as we see now. They can't hold that kind of pressure forever unless you're a guardian, unfortunately. So he's getting knocked out. And we'll see the fight move over to middle here, more than likely, in just a couple minutes. Let's get the stomp guaranteeing the point for him. So they will be able to manage to capture one point, slowly uh, have the lead without losing it too, too much. But it does look like Team Ugly is going to be slowly catching the lead. We are gonna see Oni move in on middle. Actually, only Lannister's moving in. Uh, interesting choice. They're only gonna send Lannister in here to middle point. Oh no, with the knockback though, he's gonna get that off. Maybe a decap? No, because he didn't manage to get back up there with the sword. Not quite too. enough. Yeah. yeah. We do see the Ellie Elite come out as a fire elemental. Significant damage increase there. It looks like three members for Team Ugly are on the midpoint here. Force. Force them to disengage. It does look like they want to keep their two points. They do slowly manage yeah. to take the lead here, and they're keeping it with their two points. That that's a good choice, um, because like I said before, um, if you're gonna push for that three cap, or or if you lose your or if you lose your two cap, it's gonna put you in a pretty pretty hard position to come back from. So oh, are they gonna neutralize it here? Oh, so close. Uh, it's really good here. We're seeing now that uh, Didi here running with that running with his the sword. Um, he's able to use flashing blade and burning himself back up onto the point pretty quickly here in case he gets knocked off. It's, it's generally the same thing we see from a lot of Guardians now, especially on this map. Um, and yeah, it works out pretty well for defending these points. It does look like DD is the focus fire Ooh. here. Look at these Connies all over him. Five stacks of confusion. Uh, a 10 second stack. Ow. Oh! And that mind rack knocks him out. He's going down. Do watch the stomp on him. It, the neutralize does happen. We do, do still see some Trev fire. Blue Team's Treb. Red side, it looks like. Blue Team's Treb is, is uh, actually out now, but we do have Oni Bowen aggressing. Red Team Treb now. Uh, it is at full health, so Oni Bowen might defend this. 
We do have can speed on it right now, actually. Them treb shots, man. Actually, it's it's kind of funny. The trebs are taking a significant role for both teams, it looks like. Yeah. However, uh, Team Ugly did lose both their points. They are leading by about 10 points, but uh, the other team does have one point, and they're slowly taking the lead again. These this points is a really, back and forth one. Yeah, these points are really flip-flopping around a lot. We're seeing a lot of back cap, a lot of little dirty tricks here and there that both teams are using. Uh, we do have one cap for both sides now. Mid is really still anyone's game. There's a lot of reinforcements coming in from both sides. Uh, we see this a lot on this map where we'll get a middle fight going, uh, really on any map, really. Um, we'll get a mid fight going, and then we'll just have reinforcements pile in for the next three or four minutes until someone is a clear winner. So yeah, we get, uh, yeah, three absolutely. Three absolutely, especially on this map with the small midpoint. Um, yeah. the, pu the pulls and pushes are incredibly effective on the small midpoint, especially with you being able to fall down. Uh, th so I feel like that plays a significant role. All the pulls and pushes, the control. And it does look like uh, Onibawan does manage to grab two capture points, slowly extend their lead a little bit further, currently leading by about 20 points. Oh, we do have D-squared decapping. Uh, oh, no. Oh. The oh! Honeyball with D-squared knocks back with his number three on his flamethrower. He manages to decap that point just as uh, Mufasa ports in. Nice job by D-squared. Decaps that point. He's just going to leave that open now. It's going to stop. It's going to stop um, Team Ugly from getting points for the next, for the next, at least the next 10 seconds. Yeah, very well played. It's always worth it to neutralize. Neutralizing is only about three or four seconds, whereas the capture, I think it's a full eight. Yeah. We are going to see now if another fight erupted at mid here. We have two members of Team Ugly currently taking on Oni Bono and Lannister, who is the only member in middle at the moment. We will more than likely see reinforcements uh, because they are sort of just lollygagging about over here. We're going to see a portal now open up, and I think they're coming in the middle, maybe? Mm, I don't see a portal anywhere. Yep, it's on the window, left side window from the eye. So they are oh. going to come now and support. He is in trouble, though, because we do have a um, we do have, we do have a quickness field come down from the Mesmer. The time warp come down. Actually, that is in favor of, of Team Ugly. Oh, knocked off the point. Are they going to be able to neutralize it? No, because it is Lannister, so again, close. With the sword, too, he's able to get right back on that point and keep himself in it. He will go down, however, because he isn't able to sustain Not that. Back to build. Oh, Shadow Refuge, but it was too late. Wow, that was close. Very close indeed. And it looks though the decap is gone off now. We also saw Windmill get lost again because D squared came over and decapped it. We have an engineer versus engineer fight going on over there. We'll come back to that in a minute and see who won that. And actually, we do have blue team manage to cap the windmill. Nice job by D-Squared. He's really on top of these decaps. And it looks like red team's also going to attain clock tower. So Onibawa losing middle, but they're not out of it. Because they also got this uh, windmill point here as well. Onibawa is actually leading by about 90 points. Yeah. They're doing a really nice job at, um, at sort of moving themselves around based on fights they may be losing and or winning. Uh, trap, trap shots heading in towards windmill. Not quite making it. They're going to be in favor of Team Ugly. Elixir R goes down. He does get the res. It looks like he is. He uh, does. Te Tempe can't provide that, that kind of pressure. He needs to counter that, unfortunately, because of um, just because of the way Ellie works. So he's, he is going to get up a pretty much guaranteed chance there. Absolutely. Especially Elixir R plus another res is just really, really fast resurrection. Indeed. You see Tepi over here looking to be the focus fire. Oh, my 700 health. Oh, great heals, great disengage. Pico is now the focus fire, less than a thousand health with Condi's on him. He does get downed. Onibal one for uh, three, right next to him. Does get downed as well, both in, in the time warp. Oh, and here's the here's the stop. Oh no, it's not quite fast enough. That that haste res. That haste yeah. Res. They're doing a really nice job. D squared is also down right now. We're gonna wow, see. Oh, that was, no. that was close on D squared there. We do see a port in, but he's he's almost dead, so he goes down immediately. We also Pico keep down on point. Do there's get, another one. Get the res. There's another one-on-one -on -one happening over there on the mansion here as well. So whoever with both points are decapped currently, uh, Team Ugly is the only one that controls points for the time being. Yeah, which is awesome for them. They are currently losing by about 70 points. They desperately need to slowly gain their advantage, if not quickly. Um, but they do need to make sure that Oni Bowen doesn't capture any points. Great rally there. Looks like they're gonna no, they're gonna get windmill here, so they will get that. So they have to, they have control two points now, which is gonna allow them to more than likely come back from their disc, from their uh, their current losing match at the moment. Meanwhile, you do still have that one on one can scoot versus Yagami over here on the mansion. Neither one really showing a uh, prominent lead here in this one on one, so more than likely it's gonna rely on reinforcements, which are coming in Bonnie in favor of Winnie Bowen now. Right now. Two of them. I have to force to force him to disengage. That will get them this point, but it's. 
It's just taking them too long. It looks like Team Ugly has almost caught back up. Mm. Team Ugly, within the next, I believe it's going to be within the next minute here, they will retain this lead, or they will uh, regain a lead, rather, and really bring themselves back in. So they're all, all um, Team Ugly is all piled in on middle at the moment. They really, I think they're sort of expecting a rush middle, so they don't want to risk losing that at all. Yeah, they're all chilling around mid. There's the one-on-one -on -one going, but we do see Ano Ani Bowen, Guardian, come in, and they do actually portal off because they want to protect that back point. It was an excellent job being grouped up in middle for that already. They were ready for them, they were ready to go, and because they saw that coming, they were really able to counter this rush almost completely. Absolutely, it was a very, very nice portal decision. Very nice portal play. Excellent portal play indeed. So they are now closing in on four. Oh no, but they ended up losing oh, middle wow. in the process because they all moved over there. Kansku couldn't defend it. Onibal on decaps middle because they all went through that portal. It was, it was a one. great push right off the point too. There was I, only one there defending. I think wow, it was a close game too. Kanskut was left there, um, but unfortunately, I think he was knocked off. If I remember, if I yep. if I remember, yeah, he was knocked right off for the neutral. Nice job by Oni Bowen counter pushing there. They're gonna get him down. DD is gonna be in trouble here. He's the only one from Team Ugly here at the moment. We do have reinforcements coming in now, but they're all over him. He's running out of cooldowns. He still does have a sanctuary, but he's starting to run out of time wow. here. Wow. Does look like Team Ugly just manages to take the lead. Barely. Because Barely. Point. We do have another 1v1 um, going on over Mansion. We did have we did have Mufasa go down. We're now on the port of the, the Mesmer knockback is going to keep going down. Mufasa is going to be in trouble here. They make it the stop off. Uh, taking a look here for Spay. He's off the point now. He's, there's no one in position to rest him either. Onibaw and Lannister, the Guardian on this point, is also going to wow. stop off. Team Ugly is going to be in the lead here on this middle fight. Nice job by Team Ugly. Countering the counter push from Team Onibaw. An excellent job. Absolutely. Whether or not that was intentional, that was a perfectly timed stomp for the rally. That was an awesome play at mid there for Team Ugly. Nicely done indeed by both sides here. Red Team is going to hold their lead even more. They're closing in on victory. Oh, no. Just to go. And we Team have Ugly another. does have the, the second capture point. They're closing in on 40 points to win. Looks like Yagami actually missed to delay the stomp, but he does get it eventually. It looks as though that... Um, Team Ugly is going to win this because they have, they're, they are, Zorbi has just called GG, so. 15 points with two capture points, that looks like a good game. So very well played both teams, this was actually a very back and forth game, mm. the entire match. Nice play by both sides though, um, Team Ugly was really on top.